Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can lock somebody into your iPad and only allow them to use one app. This is handy if you're giving your iPad to a child or a customer, say, for instance, and you don't want them opening other apps. You don't want them fiddling with your settings. You just don't want them doing anything apart from in that one particular app. So in this example here, if I press the button on the front of the iPad, there you go. It will not allow us to come out of the app. It actually comes up with a message at the top of the screen saying uh, guided access is enabled. Triple click the home button to exit. So on older iPads, it's triple click the home button. On newer iPads, it's triple press the power button on the top or the side of the iPad. So let's just do that. Let's just triple click. And there we go to come out of this particular app it's asking us for a passcode which is one i set earlier so let's just do that and there we go we can either end guided access there or resume it and if we end it they go we're back and you're free to use any apps whatsoever on the ipad so how did i set it in the first place don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So what we need to do is we need to go into settings and then go into accessibility. Tap that and then scroll upwards and we're looking for guided access. So tap on that, turn on guided access. OK, go into passcode settings here. And if we've got a touch ID on here, we can turn that on if we want to, to end guided access or we can set a passcode. So let's set guided access passcode. So I'm just going to type in a simple passcode for myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Type it in again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, you'd make your passcode a bit stronger than that, but this is only for demonstration purposes. So let's just come out of here. Let's go into the app that we want to lock our person into. I'm going to go into Safari. And all we do is press the home button three times, triple click it or triple push the power button. So let's just press the home button three times. And there you go. It says guided access is now started. Now, whoever's using this app can use this app till their heart's content. But if you try and come out, then like I say, it will not let you come out. You cannot come out of that particular app. You can't even turn the iPad off. I'm just pressing the home button, sorry, the power button there. And no, it's not turning off. No, it's blocking me. So let's press the home button three times or the power button if you haven't got a home button. And there you go. It asks for the passcode. And we can only type in the passcode that we set earlier. If we try and type in anything else, it won't let us out. It says incorrect passcode. You may try again after 10 seconds. So Right, let's just come out of this. Let's type in the passcode that I set earlier. And there we go. Now we can either resume by hitting resume just there and get back, or we can end the guided access by hitting end. Or if we tap options, we can set other options. So we can say when it's in guided access mode, turn off the sleep wake button, which I have, turn off the volume buttons, turn off motion, turn off software keyboards, turn off the touch, turn off dictionary lookup, and we could set a time limit if we wanted to. So uh, a few little great options down there. I'm going to end this for the moment. And once we've finished, we can either leave guided access switched on. So if we want to use that again, let's just go into an app. And what we can do is we can just triple click the front, the button on the front. And then tap start or the, obviously the power button. And there you go we're locked back in. I mean, we can do lots of things in this app, but we can't come out of it. We're, we're blocked from coming out of it. So let's just press the button on the front three times or the power button. And there you go, type in the passcode. And let's end it. And if we want to turn it off altogether, if we think, oh, we're not going to be able to ever remember that password later on, we can go into settings and then go back into accessibility, go back into guided access and just turn 
that off there. And the next time we need to set guided access up again, it's going to ask us for an, another passcode or the, the passcode again, not the same passcode. It can be any passcode. So if you've forgotten it, then uh, or you're likely to forget it, then it's a good idea to turn off guided access once you've finished with it. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look down below in the description. There's loads of links down there for you. If you're looking for a new VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, or just want to have a look through my Amazon store, then have a look down below like I say, there's some links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It enables me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if while you're here, you see any videos that you think might interest your work colleagues, your friends or your family, then please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.